Are you following me on Instagram yet? Link is in the description. What has PWS been up to? Maybe an MK111 Mod 2? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Southpaw AR. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Southpaw AR. Today we are going to go over a primary weapon systems AR. This is my very first PWS AR and I'm super excited. We did do a quick open box last week, I think, uh, but now we're gonna really get into this. Let's take a look. Okay. So make sure she's clear. This is the PWS MK111 Mod 2. This is the 11.8 inch barrel. Uh, I would go ahead and round that up to 12, but you know, 11.8 inches, I guess is the exact number. You can see that we have a muzzle brake here. It comes with an adjustable gas block. I did forget to mention this is chambered in 223 wild. So uh, we have M lock, we have Picatinny, lots of, of real estate, lots of space. The optic is mine, obviously, but I do want you guys to know out of the box, it comes just completely kitted out. It does come with a factory trigger that's about six pounds. One thing I really thought was interesting is they removed the forward assist where you see on normal ARs and they put a groove here on the bolt so that if you have a malfunction, you can push it forward with your hand. So I really think that's cool. Uh, ambi safety, ambi controls, uh, and it does run their proprietary buffer tube system. Uh, the charging handle is also ambi. So as a lefty, not having to do a whole bunch of work and it just coming out of the box left hand friendly, I like that a lot. So I did want to highlight, when I say ambi, I mean fully ambi, controls on both sides. You can see your bolt release, magazine release, and then if you flip, you can see it's there as well. Now something special about this particular firearm is that the gas system works with the buffer system. Now this is a little different than some of the other variants out there that are piston driven. So I think it's cool, it's like its own thing. I'm ready to go shoot, let's go. Okay guys, so we already did some of the, init the, the initial first shots out of this um, on Instagram just to kind of introduce the weapon to you guys. But I wanted to go ahead before I start my day training to just do a little bit of shooting so that I can give you some feedback on the recoil because it is a different system. It's a piston system that also utilizes the buffer tube. So I'm just gonna shoot a little bit before I start doing my other training and give you guys my thoughts. So this weapon is hot. Okay, so it's definitely a little bit of a different sensation. You can feel the piston and you can still feel the, the buffer tube. So it definitely is different, but not in a bad way because I feel like the recoil is definitely managed. The pressure is managed really well because it's going all the way down the weapon. Uh, very easy to shoot. So let's shoot a little faster. Okay, weapon is clear. Oh, these ambi controls are nice. Okay, weapon is clear. So even with a quicker cadence like that, I was able to stay where I needed to stay. The, the recoil is extremely manageable, which is nice. And if I had been shooting this suppressed, which that's coming, I wouldn't be getting gas in my face, which is always, always nice. And the girl can definitely get used to Really nice ambi controls. Okay. 
Okay guys, you saw, she ran like a champ. We did shoot different ammos, 223 and 556. We didn't have any malfunctions. Uh, I ran her pretty hard today. Uh, you guys know that we do things over a long period of time. So we are going to continue testing this different weather, different setups uh, to see if she can hold up over long-term use. I did have one tiny gripe and that is that the trigger is a little heavier than I prefer. Uh, it says six, we measured it a little more than that, maybe six and a half. Um, I prefer a lighter trigger, so the next time she comes to the range, that's going to be changed. But I do think it's a great system, it's a lot of fun. Uh, PWS did just come out with a suppressor, so maybe we'll get that too, throw it on here and see if it all works like one big happy family. So we'll definitely report back to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.